Our God crab mother. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I usually knock, Tully, but I'm pretty pissed off. Uh, now let's get down to business. I want you to know this is not a formal investigation. No charge has been filed against you. And I want to know why you aren't talking to the officer in charge of evidence on the date the heroin was lost. Oh, we are, but we've kept it quiet. My assistant, Mr. Lister, and I have agreed that we shouldn't needlessly tarnish the man's reputation. What? What about my reputation? That mob out there knows more than I do about all this. Yes, that is strange. I gave strict orders to keep this whole matter hush-hush. I can't imagine how it was leaked. Gee, I wonder. So all in all, you have to agree it wasn't so bad. Hell, after Lister, the DA looks like our best friend. Don't let that smooth talker fool you. When you least expect it, he'll ask for our suspension. Hey, Calloway! In my office, pronto! Pronto, eh? Been practicing your Spanish, Captain? Nice. Real nice. That's the thanks I get for trying to save your ass? How's that? You heard that the witness to Big Head's killing of Rapaz is too scared to come into us, right? Right. So what? So he just called again. Says he'll meet with one cop alone at midnight, 8th Pier on Fulton. Says he'll even let us tape a statement. You're in a lot of hot water, so I figure maybe you might want to be the one who meets the guy. This could be the lead we're looking for, and I think you could make this information work for you. You're right about that. Thanks, Captain. Thanks a lot. So, you don't think the cop nailed Rapaz? No, no. It's not his style. He's a by-the-book cop. So, we are forced to admit, however reluctantly, that it looks like Cincini is responsible. Well, we both know how much he envied you for having Rapaz on your payroll. I am also hard-pressed to explain the apparent disappearance of Walter. Only Cincini would have enough cash to bribe Walter away from me. Louis, Chris, come here. Uh, yeah, boss. What do you want? Take Joey, David, and Frankie over to Cincini's restaurant and blast the hell out of every Cincini within ten miles of the place. It's almost midnight, so they'll be closing up the place in just a few minutes. Uh, so you want we should go over there? Right now? No, you friggin' morons! I want you to go tomorrow during the lunch hour rush! Now get the hell out of here! That don't seem too smart, going during lunch hour. Hey, he didn't get to be the boss by being stupid. So let's just do like he says. Midnight has struck, but Henry Jew has yet to see another soul on the 8th Pier. I must be crazy thinking I could strike a deal with these cops. They're probably surrounding me with a SWAT team, 100 K-9s, and a riot squad. That is, if anyone shows up at all. How do you do? Yeah! Oh, now how am I supposed to keep up with you with these damn flippers on? Yeah! I can see you're in a hurry, pal, so I won't keep you long. You and me, we're gonna be friends, right? Mm-hmm. And friends, well, they just don't squeal on their buddies, do they? As your friend, I'm gonna recommend you go home and get some rest, right away. And don't talk to any strange policemen on your way. It could be bad for your health. Uh, uh, uh! Wait just one second, pal. Something in your manner tells me you still don't believe I'm your bosom buddy. So to prove it, I'm gonna give you a little gift. Uh, uh what's your name? Henry. There you are, Henry. Use it in good health. <laughs> so much for our witness. Now, let's clean this city up. Cleaning up this crime-ridden burg requires limitless energy, and it's a busy, busy night for the masked vigilante. It's a night of vengeance, a night of mayhem, a night of terror. A night of good, clean fun. It's also a night that takes its toll on Lieutenant Calloway. Man, oh man. I should cut down on this crap. Damn it, Lieutenant. You gotta get back home. What the hell are you talking about? I tried to reach you at home, tell you to call in sick, but I missed you. 
If the captain thinks you're sick, he might let the whole thing slide. But if he sees you coming in this late, he'll blow a gasket. Look, Lionel, the fact is, I'm feeling pretty beat. So let's just go up and have a word with the old boy. The old boy is going to save you the trouble of coming up to see him. Oh, hi, Captain. I got a call this morning from that witness you were supposed to meet last night. He's scared half to death. Says he won't talk to anybody. Says he's leaving town. What did you say to him, Calloway? How could you have followed this up again? Captain, the mook never showed up last night. I was there for hours, and he never showed up. My guess is he just got cold feet. Is that your guess, Calloway? Well, that isn't my guess. Would you like to hear my guess? My guess is that somebody doesn't want our boy to talk to us. My guess is that the same somebody scared the piss out of him with threats so that he wouldn't talk. And my final guess is that this somebody has got to be Big Head himself. Sounds good. But as you say, all guesses. That's right. Only guesses. Which is why I'm assigning you to form a new task force to hunt down Big Head and get a few answers. Are you out of your skull? Do you remember how many men got killed the last time we encountered that guy? Your concern for our men is touchy, but I doubt that's the real reason you don't want to go up against Big Head again. I think the truth is you're afraid of him. Not afraid for your men, just plain chicken! You're wrong there, fat boy. The truth is, if Big Head did kill Rapaz, the only reason we should hunt him down is so we can pin a freaking medal on his chest. And I'll tell you something, Captain. You try and go after Big Head, they won't be able to scrape enough of you off the street to soil a diaper! Easy, man. Take it easy. Get your friggin' hands off of me, you brown-nosing flunky! What? That's it, mister! Get your ass home on the double, and I'm docking you a day's pay as well! Stuff it, Tubby. Afraid? What a laugh. That fat pig would have a heart attack. Here's the truth. At least a dozen hostages. Say.